Right then, so it says find the expansion of the square root of 1 minus 2x up to the x cubed term. There's quite a lot in this, um, so I want to make sure I've got plenty of room to do it. So maybe just hang fire and pause it in that sub it. So I've got 1 minus 2x to the power of a half. So now n is a half, x is minus 2x. Now if you notice, whenever I've done these, I've always put brackets around the x's. If so, if I've got the minus in there, I don't stuff it up. So I've got 1 plus n, x, n, n minus 1, x squared over 2, n, n minus 1, n minus 2, you've got the range there, minus 2x cubed times 3 times 2. There, being really, really careful using the calculator so you don't stuff it up. Uh, Get that out. Be really, really careful. So the idea is, so it says here, um, so by substituting x is 0.01. Right. So if I put x is 0.01 in there, I've got 1 minus 2 lots of 0.01. I've actually got root 0.98. Oops, you can write that out a bit better. Now, so let me pause this because I need to have a calculator up to show you something. This is a bit of a backwards one, this one. But I don't know what doing it. Um, so, what normally happens, this one's a little bit backwards, like I said. Say, for instance, you wanted, I'm trying to find a bit of space. Say, for instance, you wanted. The, I don't know, the square root of 1.02. I could see that as the square root of 1 plus 2 lots of 0 0.1, or 0 0.01. Which means I could do a binomial expansion for 1 plus 2x and use x is 0 0.01. And that's what the calculator does. Because it hasn't got its magic table of square roots. It looks at what it looks like and then thinks about the best binomial expansion to use. And then it subs in this number. Now that would be a straightforward one to do. I just do the expansion of 1 plus 2x and a half and sub in 0.01 at the end. And it's done. It'll give me an approximation for root 1.02. And this one's a little bit different because if I sub in 0.01, I've got root 0.98. So my like my one minus two lots of 0 0.01 all to the half we've said is a root 0 0.98. Now if I put root 0 0.98 in the calculator, probably won't work now with that. So if I do shift root 0 0.98, it gives me seven root two over ten. So this is equal to 7 root 2 over 10. So if I sub in 0 0.01, I've not quite got the answer that I want. So if I put it into here, so I know that I get 7 root 2 over 10. That's where I get if I put the 0 0.01 into the left. And then if I put it into the right, uh, where is it? There. Minus. I'm not so sure if you're going to like this. It's actually quite nice, but this example kind of gives it, makes it a little bit harder for you. Now, 7 root 2 over 10 on the right hand side it gives me out something like you put it in the calculator, it gives you that. Well, actually, that's perfect. We've got one, might as well use it. So 1 minus 0 0.01 minus 
0.01 squared over two minus 0.01 cubed over two. So it gives me 0 0.9899495. Right, and now here's my issue. I want root two. So my answer for root two would be 10 over 7 times by 0.989495. And this is where this one's a little bit different, because if you just like, like I said up here, if you just sub the number in the bit in the black, then it gives you out the answer you want, whereas this one doesn't, you have to rearrange it a little bit. So this is actually a tougher number than... Um, Tougher example than you expect. So I times that by 10 over 7. There. Now, if you look what root 2 is, there. I mean, look how accurate that is. That's massively accurate. I and mean, all I did was four terms, or up to x cubed. If you imagine you went up to x to the power 5 or x to the power 6, you'd be really, really accurate. I mean, we're accurate there to what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven decimal place accuracy you've got from using four terms. And this is what your calculator does, it just does a bigger binomial expansion. This question is very confusing now. Um, but all I've done is done the expansion for something else now that works for me. It's easy for me to say that, isn't it? Let's have a look at the next bit. So there's a question for you. So I'll show you that. So I followed that through, but is that all the same? There's one more question from the first uh, lesson. I'll do it as a separate one. 